My name is Colin Congdon. I'm 75 years old and I've come here to Mount Marbu uh, in Mozambique to look for butterflies. And there are lots here. Well, I spend uh, nine months of the year in Africa uh, researching the life histories, um, recording from the egg to the caterpillar to the chrysalis and then the adult, photographing every stage, getting the plants properly identified by scientists at Kew, uh, and then publishing the results. Did I get that one? No, I didn't. But that one, no, again. Oh, they're, they're suddenly from being none at all, they're being surrounded by butterflies. Woo! <laughs> it sometimes works. Now, this is a thing called Lachnoptera. Um, but it's an old worn specimen, and we've seen this thing before, so. I think we can safely say, on your way. Okay, we find the, the um, eggs and caterpillars in the wild, uh, and then we, we uh, put them into a, a semi-airtight box uh, with the food plant. Uh, we keep changing the food plant to make sure it's fresh, uh, and um, then eventually the fully grown caterpillar will turn into a chrysalis. Um, and that we put in uh, a separate place so that uh, when the butterfly finally emerges it can expand its wings and dry and become the perfect specimen. Well, what I do is, is research the life histories. I, I think I'm adding to the sum of human knowledge um, and I'm also satisfying my curiosity at the same time. Um, I think that ordinary butterfly collectors, if butterfly collectors are ordinary, um, are not much different from stamp collectors. You just have it because you want to, to, to see it in a, in a box. That's not me. Um, I, I, want to, I, I want to push uh, the, the boundaries of, of human knowledge a little bit further. And there's an awful lot of work to be done on the life histories of butterflies.